I really must make a new intro at some point because I've had that for years now. I really must change that. Some like I'm, I'm going to do that. That's gonna be my project next week. I, I hope. Um, today we're going to talk about Atticus.io. Now, first of all, this is Scrivener. I've imported my first book, Hunter's Garden, into here. So if you haven't read that, you might encounter some spoilers. That's on you, not me. It's been out long enough now. You can go pick it up if you want. Um, but I'm talking about Atticus.io today. Atticus.io. It's an all-in-one writing suite. Um, however, it is focusing at the moment on the final production of ebooks, the exporting side of it, the side, the finishing end of it at the moment. Um, the team have they've tried and tested. They seem to have a lot of other projects going. Um, they're charging $147 plus tax for the software. It's a one-off payment, no subscription. Um, it works on every platform. It's web-based, and there's a lot of reasons why this is attractive to me. The main one being the formatting side of it, because I have some issues with, <laughs> with Scrivener's formatting. So you look here, they're offering some nice stuff, but that cost does put me off. Um, let's look deeper into what I don't like about Scrivener and what problem I'm hoping to solve. So here's Hunter's Garden. And if I go to the export button here, um, I've already made a project format. Do you do that by double clicking on one of the existing ones? That leaves you, that gives you a custom one to edit for this project. Uh, and then you can double click on it and you'll get this window up. Now, problem is, this is... This is horrible. I mean, like, it works, absolutely does work. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It absolutely will output your, your, your file as you want it. But the minutia you're dealing with here is fucking just, oh, it makes me mad because there's no preview on the right there. Oh, it just winds me up so much. You're supposed to memorize these replace withers and stuff. And it's just, yeah, this is the one bit of Scrivener that I fucking hate. And that's like being, I just hate it. I've, in my um, current project, I've done it. Like, I've set it up how I want it. I'm like, just don't fucking touch it. But it doesn't transfer between projects. I'm like, go to all that again or export it and mess about. It. And it just drives me nuts. It's the one thing that's Scrivener I just hate, right? Great for a quick export. See what it looks like. Great. That's so many pages. It looks like this. I want to change that around. Yeah, great for quick exports. But for a final production release, I want to make it mwah, perfect. And that involves too much fucking RAM with dials, you know? Um, so, yeah, that's the thing I'm trying to solve. Now, I like Scrivener. I like Scrivener as a writing environment, um, mostly because uh, I can just go in here and just quickly select chapters and stuff. I, if I'm honest, like, I, I've set up the notes, like I've set up characters and stuff in, in, in my other project. Um, but like, I'm not sure they're as necessary, like, as necessary, as helpful as I'd like to think in my head they are. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, Scrivener overall... Great writing environment, no criticisms as a writing environment. However, the exporting does need work. Love Scrivener. Love the fact that I can get like you know all the shortcut keys, got all this customization. Scrivener's great, but you must admit, Scrivener, it looks it looks it looks a bit nineties. It looks a bit old a bit classical. Even this is a nice this is as pretty as I can make it as well. But I do love it and I'm not I'm not sort of criticizing it, but being realistic and not being a fanboy here, there's stuff wrong with Scrivener, right? Um is it stuff that is this stuff that Atticus is going to solve and replace wholeheartedly? Well, paid the money, hundred and forty-seven dollars plus tax is one hundred and seventy-four dollars, which is the same number reverse, which bothered me. It's about one hundred and thirty-five pounds, which is a lot of money, but it's a one-off payment and you get access for life. So if it goes up in the future, I'm done. I've got access. You know, like I'm sorted. Um, I did a lot of research before I paid out the money, and I think this is the software that's going to solve it for me. Not perfect. The project's been around about six months. Very fast paced. There's a lot going on with it. Um, you can even see there. Uh, I think at the bottom of the page here, they've got their uh, their. Oh, there you go. Here's. here's uh, oh, there you go. I don't know what's happening here. Look, look my, my, my actual web browser's lagging here, which is not not a good sign. That might be because. Wow, what the fuck is that? Okay, that was weird. I think I might have, it might have registered a mid click there, and I was just dragging it around, which is a bit weird. So Vellum is the big one for Mac anyway, um, and Atticus is the new top dog. I love the logo as well. Um, the things we want to care about, things we care about here, right, is Atticus has uh, got version control coming soon. There's no version control in Vellum. Reusable elements, culture chapter builders, cloud storage backups, all this is built into Atticus. Although they haven't talked about how much cloud storage I've got. I don't see why they'd cap it, though, given it's books. I mean, why would they, right? It's, they're not going to be that big ever, especially not when they're stored compressed. Um, yeah, and uh, Atticus all got 17 things out of the box you can mess with, and it imports from DocX, RTF, uh, and EPUB and Mobi coming soon. It's worth knowing that I've just imported Hunter's Garden into Atticus and I had to use the DocX function, which I was like, so I'm going to go from Scrivener to DocX, then from DocX into, and I was dubious, but it actually worked really well. So I'm like, okay, I can't actually criticize that. 
Um, so once I'm logged in, let's have a look at what Atticus looks like. Uh, and I'm going to open right here. So I've logged in. This is my pre-existing this is my pre-existing project. I can create a new book from scratch or I can upload a docx. If I go upload here, it will tell me exactly what formats it has. And it's docx, epub, rtf, and mobi. So it's got more than it says on the website actually. Uh, it works fine. As I said, done it. Perfect. No criticism. It worked. Lovely. Or I can make a new book from scratch. So let's click on the book I've got done. There's only one here. I should imagine this layout here makes a lot more sense when you've got like 10 books or something, right? So let's click that and see where we get. So here we are. We drop straight into the writing environment, which I don't love, right? But again, Atticus has promised features in the future. And right now, all they're selling it on is that export options they're saying in the future they're going to try and be a replacement for scrivener i know this going in i'm not being critical but my brain can't help always looking out for a new writing environment i, I just my brain wants a new writing always wants a new writing environment the brain does so i'm like hey maybe this is it and there's no dark mode at the moment but again that's a work in progress is on the roadmap um you can see here and i've imported hunter's garden just from that just from that file exported from Scrivener. It's picked up all the chapters. I had to do, I had to mark stuff. I had to convert stuff to front matter. So if there was something like, if I want to convert this to front matter, I click on the dots, convert to front matter or whatever it is and just shift it around to where I want it. Anything in the front matter area will not be counted in your page count. Anything in the back matter will not be counted in the page count. That'll just have a separate count as you see in books all the time. It knows what a title page is. It knows what a copyright page is. It knows what a forwarded. There's loads of things it understands, right? You just you don't have to tally. You're just like this is a thing. Just do that, right? And it works and it formats it in a way that makes it easy to work with, which I really like. And here I've got my chapters. I can drag and drop them if I want. I'm not gonna because I haven't numbered them. Um, it it works. Yeah, I've got no criticism with this. However, it is the basics. Here's the thing. This is the basics, right? If you don't have Scrivener and you're looking at this. It would probably work for you. I personally would just use Word. Like if you just don't have Scrivener, just use Word or or even um or even Novel Writer we talked about on the channel. Um, because at the moment there are things missing. I can't take notes in this, I can't do hot linking in this. It is just a hole you write in, which I don't hate because I like a hole you can write in. If you had better themes, if you had some better themes, I'd probably be like, fuck it, I'll just use it. Um it uh it is prone to freeze it'll flash up here saving and it's prone to freezing up a little bit then. Now I've got the Pro Writing Aid plugin, and with the Pro Writing Aid plugin active, it picks up. Per it works quite literally perfectly, like, like quite literally, fucking perfect, no problems at all. Um, how much of Pro Writing Aid is built in without the plugin? I don't know. I haven't tested yet. I'm going to come back after a few weeks of using this and let you know how it works with and without the plugins and stuff because they have touted that PWA integration works. But I think that just means with the plugin. I don't think they're actually baking it into there. It's not very clear. I'm going to look into that and get back to you only be messed with this a few hours uh, but yeah the pro right now plugin like it's just it's working it knows the difference between the input box the sidebar there's no weird things that you do get with other applications and projects it just works so if i'm if i was to choose this to write in pwa just working for me and i do love me pwa as you know uh and i can add chapters down i can just hit the add chapter button to add a brand new chapter um or i can hit the three little dots and i can just be like hey i want to from a template i want to import chapters i want a custom chapter i want full you know you can just do shit in here all the shit you want this sidebar has everything i've just realized my face covered that up so let's uh let's talk about that again this button down here there you go this, i've just added added a chapter get rid of that chapter delete that chapter there you go so this button down here, you click the main button, you'll just add a chapter underneath wherever you've currently selected. Three little buttons, and you can choose all this stuff. Okay, I'll turn my face back on now because I'm a narcissist, I guess. Um, yeah, all this is, as I said, very, very basic, but very good. There's more tools button here, and all these tools, a lot of these tools are coming soon. Coming soon. It's like there's a lot of coming soon here. And there's, a, there's, there's a button here so you can change your default fonts. Hide. You can go. Oh, this is interesting as well. This here is the writing mode not the formatting mode so i can choose to show my paragraphs as indented or spaced in writing mode and that doesn't affect the export which i like actually i can justify just make it how i like it it's actually all right i don't i like that idea of having a writing layout and, a, and, a, and an export layout now scrivener does something similar but i feel more comfortable in scrivener for whatever reason i feel more comfortable in scrivener it, having it look the same both sides it just works better in my head which is nice fine i guess i don't know depends how you feel uh, but yeah this is this is nice this is good um, and then I can go to formatting. And this is the bit where this program shines now. This is the bit where I was like, because I looked, saw this, I was looking around and I was like, this is, this was not worth my money. This is like, and I knew that I was getting something that was early in development. I know it's going to get better in the future, but I was looking at this and I'm going, it's not, I mean, this is not, this is not 
world changing right this is fine but it's not not blowing my mind and then i clicked on formatting right oh my gosh formatting is so good so let's start with atticus themes so i can just be like boom look at that look at that and i'm like that's how it looks on ipad well how does that look how does that look on a kindle paper white it looks like that how does this one look and you can just flip between them oh my god it's so good because like I'm seeing it live, and if I do this, if I do like subtitles, uh, title, no one title, want number. There you go. I'm doing this live, and it's just updating. And I'm going. I want. I want. I want. I want small lead capitals and a drop. You know, I can do all these tweaks and tinkers and things, and it all just live, and it shows me. And there's no stupid bars to mess with. It's all live and nice, and it is so good. It's just so good. <laughs> It's so good. Uh, what I did was I made my own theme here. Look, I made my own theme, uh, and I just like like let's uh, let's select this theme, uh, and you can see I've got the image here. I can have an image here if I want. I can have image. I can have the subtitle. I want the chapter number. Like it's so good. Now I found out that these chapter heading thing, the images don't look quite right on e on 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 e on e ink stuff, and they don't look quite right on e but they look great on PDF. So that's what I've done, and they're absolutely um. The end product is exactly what you see on the screen. There's no caveats at all. Um, so basically, uh, if you look at, it, it starts off with iPad as default, which is not unreasonable, really. Uh, and you get an idea of what you've done. I don't, I like, I don't really, I like, in my head, I really like these uh, these heading blocks for chapters. But then when I actually see it, I'm like, I actually, I don't like that. So just turn it off. Uh, so I can choose chapter one or chapter one. So chapter one, name the chapter. Maybe I want the image back. Oh, no, I definitely don't. You know, all of this is live. There's no guesswork involved. I love it. Um, one of the things I have done here as well um, is, oh yeah, let me put a, a, a publisher logo there, which is something I like. I've got my own name there too much, but we'll work on that. Well, it's, well, it's still I know the kinks. It's my first attempt. Uh, we got like, the, we got the um, copyright page here, which is all in a different font. Forward, and then you go look the separators. These are visual ornaments. Right, there's a button in the editor to like add an ornament. Right. I've done it in towards the end of my chapter. Uh, I've got a chapter that moves around a lot, and I've I know that's no that, there you go. I've got a chapter that moves around a lot, and in that chapter again, I can just scroll this. I put ornaments between every major scene change because I think it looks nice. That is literally the only person I've got is me, and that wasn't in the original. It's something I was unable to do with the old method I had of exporting it. Great because I can change these things as well. So you can see, like, let me see here. I can just change these, right? And if I want a totally, if I want my own image to be brought in, I can just bring in my own image. Like I can, I can, I can bring it. I can upload an image from here. Um, I can just, just grab one, which is kind of amazing to me. I can just make one, import it, throw it in, done. I might actually, actually do that. I actually do that. Maybe I get some of this on the go. So this shit on the go. Um, who knows? But I could do it. Probably won't. But I have options, and I love options. Now, it's not all perfect. There are things I fucking hate. I hate the fact that I've got this button here. Look, Bookbrush and Atticus have teamed up to create custom images for. I'll stop you there. This is a paid service, right? You're giving me 15 images, downloads included. I don't want it. Let me turn it off. Stop being dickheads. Don't want your ads. That's an ad. Stop being a prick. Get rid of it. Hate it. At the moment, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt because you're a new project. I want to see that turned off, right? I want to see an option so I can just turn this shit off. I do not want it. I've just paid £135. Shouldn't have to see your big purple fucking ad, you wankers. Um, but it's also not intrusive and it's no worse than the way that if I open up PWA it's got like hire a real editor button on the side permanently I hate it but I have to accept we live in a capitalist world and until we burn it down and build a lovely a, a lovely state of communism or lead wide socialism I have to live with your advert shit but I do hate it um, anyway <laughs> anyway uh, I really like this 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 side of it this editor like, it's so it looks simple and you're like hex it's not doing a lot that's kind of the genius because it's doing everything I want, right, without any fuckery. And if I wanted to go deeper, I can just edit this theme, right, and I can go deeper. I can go so much, so much fucking deeper. You big fucking purple buttons there again. Hate your big purple button. We're gonna have words about your purple button. I'm gonna send an email to support about your purple fucking button. Uh, anyway, I can I can rename this theme. I can I can change the default fonts. I can do lots of stuff very simply, which it leave without saying anything there. And very simply, which is a ball like to do in other things, and I can see it, and that to me is worth the money. Now, where do I hope Atticus is going to go? What do I want to see added, and what do I think they're going to add? Well, I think they'll be mad not to have a fucking dark mode for a start. Like, seriously, guys, I'm, I write, 
And that means I spend most of my time in a dark room because that's what writers do. We do that. We sit in the dark and we type on our keyboards and we go, oh, it's 3 a.m. and I, I want a fucking dark mode. I don't want these lasers in my eyes constantly. Um, so I do demand a dark mode. Um, honestly, I think they're going to have a button right here for notes. I think there's going to be a button for like notes and then just split the screen. You just get some notes. Um, we need some split screen. We just need the basics that Scrivener's got. Is that a split screen? I, oh, it's a chapter split. I thought I'd missed a split screen, but there's blah, I'm a nini. It's there the whole time. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to be able to like click here and just open this next to open side by side. I think that's kind of important uh, for a lot of people. Um, I would like to see a button up here that that lets me do notes for my characters, just the stuff that the Scrivener's got that, that's quality of life stuff because I think that would wow, did that stall then? Yeah, and I noticed a couple of times now where it's gone saving up here and it's kind of stalled out. But again, I think that's teething problems. I accept it's a new project and I bought in early. I, I'm all right with this. I'm totally okay with this as long as it gets better. That is fine. Uh, yeah, so penny but yeah, it's all it's really simple, but it's really like like it's got all the things I actually want, and I kind of really like that that it's like it's trying to keep it simple, um because one of the things they say on the YouTube channel is they want to have the power of Scrivener without Scrivener's learning curve, and while I am okay with the learning curve, the fact that there is, I mean, like the fact that Scrivener does have all these things going on, and it does have all these things, and it does have all these export options it just had all this mad stuff in it. it does kind of take away from the just hole you write in so what i tend to do especially in my current project is i just write in the hole and i don't give two shits about the way it looks i'm just getting my words out there and then i sort it afterwards where it'd be kind of nice to have a more relaxed visual environment somewhere i could do a bit more tinkering something where i could feel a bit more invited because like yeah at the moment like it, it's great and it works and it's absolutely my main tool for writing but I can see all these ways in which it could be better and I don't think it's going to get there because there's such a long release cycle on Scrivener. Whereas with Atticus, I know it's going to be a fast release cycle. It's web technology. It's a new company. It's someone doing something awesome and really sort of seems to be wanting to make a mark for themselves in the industry. So I could see this getting fast improvements where I don't see the same thing with Scrivener. Anyway, this has been my first look on day one of this software Remember, I have bought this for my own money because I intend to use it. This is not something I've got sponsored to talk about. They have not paid me to do this. This is just me wanting to, to do a thing, okay? This is just me wanting to, to talk to you about the thing I'm doing. Um, other thing before I go, I should probably mention here. Uh, if, I, if I go into this, there does not appear to be an export button. There's a save button there, which is download a JSON file with all my stuff in which is, you know, fine, but there doesn't appear to be a way for me to, I don't think there's a way for me to export this. Yeah, there's no, there doesn't seem to be, a, once I'm in, I'm in. There doesn't seem to be a way for me to export this in any way that, like, I would like to export, I would like to have the option to export my project. I know you kind of want me to buy in and what you want me to get in here wholeheartedly, but I, I demand an export. That's another feature I really quite want. Um, but yeah, there's a, there's a help button here will take us to the, the help thing. Um, and there is there is somewhere on here. Oh, there you go. Roadmap. I found it. Let's have a look at the roadmap real quick before I go because I've gone on for 18 minutes. But I'm having a nice time. I'm enthused. Um, oh, there we go. So there's a lot of features already in there. We won't talk about stuff that's already in there because, I mean, it's, it's already <laughs> already in there, right? Like we don't, we've just shown it. Um, in progress, find and replace. I mean, find and replace is, is pretty big deal. Social media profiles. I don't want it, but people do. Um, terms and condition improvements. Not really something give two shits about epub import moby import both would be nice seem to be working at the moment i'm not sure what i think about them don't think i need it uh epub page list writing analysis dashboard this is something i really want to see i'm excited about this dark modes on there as well volumes parts and scenes that's where it comes to being a little bit more like scrivener expanded trim sizes for exporting what size things you want to export which is something that's great um Focus mode, yep, that'd be good. Version history, collaboration, these are all after launch. So, yeah, these are all things that are coming soon. Insert page break. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not, I would never insert a page break inside a chapter. The chapter is my page break, so for me, I'm, you know, yeah. But uh, it does have all this stuff, uh, version history, collaboration. Yeah, so this stuff is all done. That stuff is all work in progress. So we, we know the stuff happening, and the stuff that's done, like, it just keeps going, right? Like, the, it just keeps going, which is just great. You know, like it, it, it's good and I'm confident. Now, if I come back to this, now, things that could ruin this for me, if I come back to this in, say I come back in six weeks and this is still the same, 
that to me is then a problem and then i'm going did i waste my 135 pounds um probably not because the export tool even if there's no more updates the export tools are absolutely worth it to me um just to get what i want out of it but oh yeah if, if this updates as fast as they tell me it updates if it's going to push forward in the way they say it will then this was a great purchase and i'd be very happy with it um I, uh, yeah if not then you know it's been it's been worthwhile still but not as worthwhile as it could have been i won't be pissed off but i've still got my export tools and i've still got my, my, my cool export maker but you know not not ideal and to be honest it does it seems to do i've not used valum because i don't have a mac but people are like they're saying that it's got everything uh look pro right now integration doesn't tell me what that means <laughs> can i just did i not need a pro right now subscription i don't know probably did um anyway the uh the vellum i've not used but it seems people are telling me that this has every feature of vellum it's 245 pounds in vellum just gets you this formatting and that's what you're paying 245 pound for then i guess i guess atticus is a steal and it's certainly a lot less of a ball like than messing with the export tools in scrivener thank you for watching i've been hex dsl hopefully i've shown you what this is like in a way that is useful to you um also it is account based you can sign in now of your account as well don't worry i've got a very strong <laughs> a very strong password don't worry about that um yeah I, I would like to see two step there i'd like to see me able to log in with google just services so that i can feel like my account is more secure because eh, you know whatever um and uh, yeah overall I've, i think i'm happy with it but again i'll go wait for six weeks to find out if i you know i'll go wait for six weeks to find out how happy i'm with it because i don't know yet so thank you for watching i love you all very much bye everybody uh stay trendy the next video will be trendy talk so yeah that, that's we say stay trendy at the end of trendy talk they punk no oh my god talking going wrong also i'm this isn't trendy talk so i'm rabbiting thank you for watching <laughs> bye, -bye.